Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the middleweight bout between Anatoly Tokov versus Sharev Dovlet Muradov. Sharev Dov Dovlet Muradov. These guys have got some tough names, so Dovlet Muradov. So Anatoly Tokov versus Sharev Dovlet Muradov. So how I see this one right here is um Tokov is coming off a two-year layoff. I feel like um he had more fights since then, but he only had one fight since the Raw Harris fight, and that fight was in 2019. So that fight seemed like forever ago. So that's back in 2019. So he didn't fight all of 2020, hasn't fought in all of 2021 up until now. So this man has been inactive for a long time. That's a concern. But why I'm saying I'm concerned because I'm picking Tokov to win this one. I feel like um at that given point, Tokov was ahead of Dabla Muradov, you know, when he retired. I mean, that's not retired. When he um last fought. I feel like Sharab Dabla Muradov, I'm going to say Dablat Morado. I'm matter of fact, I'm gonna say Sharap. His name, that last name, too long. That Sharap has been active since then. Like he's been fighting, he's been getting better. He's been avenging losses and packing up wins. Whereas Tokov, I don't know, been nursing injuries and whatnot, but he's been inactive. Whereas Dablat Morado has been active in his timing. I'm not gonna say Dablat Morado's competition has been so great. It hasn't been the best. It hasn't been the worst, but it definitely has not been the best. So, but he's been active. He's been working and fleshing out skills. But what I would say. While Molina Tokov, I feel like Tokov still wrestling wise will win the wrestling battle. He, I feel like he has much better wrestling defense and should be able to shut down most of Dovlet Muradov's takedowns, and at the very least, be able to prevent Muradov from having extended extended time of control. Whereas I feel like Tokov can score takedowns on Dovlet Muradov. Muradov's takedown defense at times has been very questionable at times, not consistently, but at times it has been questionable. And I feel like Tokov will be a one that will look to test that to see where it's at, and whether he's getting cage control time, like controlling against the cage and the clinch. Or scoring takedowns and right out time, I feel like that's going to be his case. I feel like on feet, after being inactive for that amount of time, he's not going to be seeing shots. So I feel like Morvidal will be, you know, getting the better of him on the feet. Talk might be landing with more power, and, you know, freezing Dabla Morvidal's volume up at times just off the like the heavy body kick, heavy overhands, you know, the heavy shots. I mean, catch him over the shoulder, but catch him over the guard. But I feel like at this given point with that inactivity. And the speed of the speed advantage that Dabla Murado will have versus his power advantage Tokov have, I feel like Dabla Zan will be. I'm mean, not saying Dabla Zan. Dabla Murado will be getting the better of the striking, in my opinion. But I feel like Tokov will be getting the better of the overall fight. And mostly, I feel like him. He'll mix it well with the takedowns, try to like land the heavy shots, pressure him, or push him back, score takedowns, or tie him up. And I feel like he'll be able to grind out a pretty tough, tight decision over Sharaf Dabla Murado, but a very, very tight, tough. Decision I see, but Tokov really winning it or edging it with his takedowns and his cage control will clinch control and takedown. So control against the cage, control on the ground. So scoring, so the takedowns, controlling his cage, and then we're like once scoring the takedowns, controlling him on the ground for a decent amount of time. I'm not saying he could take him down, and control him for a whole round with ease. It's gonna be a very tough fight. And you probably got to do two. I had to get two takedowns in the round. Might have to get three. I'm going to say about two. I'm not going to say three. Three will really be making it look too easy. But i say two two in the round that he do win to get his hand raised. If he just get one and double that Murdoff pops back up, then he probably will likely lose that round. But I feel like he's going to edge it with his takedown. But a very, very tough out for Anatoly Tokov and a very tough matchup to take back after being off for like two years now. But in this fight, I got Anatoly Tokov via decision. 